people's legitimate constitutional rights. That's important. We also want to make sure that someone who's not supposed to get a gun doesn't get a gun. So we've got to figure out how that works. Um, take a look at what happens right now uh, with the FBI. If a person is on a terror watch list, the law enforcement is supposed to be notified whether they're trying to buy a gun or not. That's the way it's supposed to work right now. Uh, as the FBI director just told us the other day, and I think he said this publicly, um, if we do this wrong, like the president is proposing, we could actually blow our ongoing terrorist investigations. So we want to get this right so that we don't undermine terrorist investigations. And I would simply say there are other factors in this that need to be dealt with. We just passed this week 53 to nothing Tim Murphy's mental health bill out of the Commerce Committee. So there's a lot of work to be done on these things, but at the same time, let's make sure that we are not infringing upon a law-abiding citizen's Second Amendment rights. Is going after the Second Amendment how you stop terrorism? No, that's not how you stop terrorism. We have a bill that's being voted on right now to go after homegrown jihadists. Let's not take our eye off the ball here. This is a person who was radicalized by Islamic radical terrorists. By, he claimed it was by ISIS. So we need to make sure that we're focusing on the real issue here, which is terrorism. The fact that people are becoming radicalized and committing these horrible acts of terrorism in our country. So not only do we need a better foreign policy, not only do we need a better policy with respect to Iraq and Syria and fighting terrorists and preventing ISIS from expanding and growing, we need to have a better job and a better handle on homegrown jihad and on combating the ideology itself. Again, a, a week ago, today, we rolled out a 67-point plan for a better national security to address these issues. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.